Hello and welcome to Dia's Fun Play. In today's video, let's learn the different types of renewable energies and its sources. There are different sources of energy in this modern world. All of these sources are either renewable or non-renewable. Non-renewable energy sources are fossil fuels like coal, oil and natural gas etc. These non-renewable energy sources take millions of years to form. The leftover fossil fuels may also get depleted in the next few decades. When these fossil fuels are burned to produce energy, it produces harmful greenhouse gas emissions such as carbon dioxide, which is very harmful in large quantities. On the other hand, renewable energy is derived from natural sources like sun, wind, water and plants, etc. These energy sources do not get depleted and are constantly being replenished at a very higher rate than they are consumed. There are plenty of renewable energy sources around us. Now let's see the different types of renewable energies and their sources. Solar energy is derived from the sun, wind energy from blowing wind, hydropower from flowing water, geothermal energy from the heat inside the earth, biomass from plants and other organic matter. Sunlight is our planet's most abundant and freely available energy resource. The amount of solar energy that reaches the earth's surface in one hour can be used by the whole world for more than a year. We need solar panels to generate solar energy from the sunlight. A solar panel is a device that converts sunlight into electricity by using photovoltaic cells. These photovoltaic cells are made of materials that generate electrons when exposed to light. The electrons flow through a circuit and produce direct current which can be used to power various devices and be stored in batteries for later use. Though solar energy is an excellent source of renewable energy, it has some limitations too. The amount of sunlight that reaches the Earth's surface varies depending on the time of a day, location, season of the year and other weather conditions. The amount of sunlight that reaches a square foot of the Earth's surface is relatively small, so a large surface area is needed to absorb enough sunlight and produce solar energy that will be useful. Now let's see what is a wind energy. Wind is caused by the sun. Wind is caused by the uneven heating of the earth's surface by the sun. The earth absorbs the sun's heat at different rates as the earth's surface is made up of different types of landforms and water bodies. For example, during a day, air above the land gets heated up much faster than the air above water. When this hot air above the land expands and rises up, the cooler and the heavier air above the water surface rushes in to take its place, creating a wind. This is the reason beaches and seashores are always windy. At night, the winds are reversed because air cools faster over the land than it does over water. So, we will have wind as long as the sun shines. This movement of air is used by wind turbines that converts the kinetic energy of the wind into electrical energy. Wind turbines work on a simple principle. The blowing wind turns the propeller-like blades of a turbine around a rotor. This rotating turbine in turn spins a generator which produces electricity. Wind is an excellent and a plentiful source of clean energy. Today, wind farms are an increasingly familiar sight across the world. Hydropower is often considered to be more reliable than solar and wind power. Sunlight heats water bodies like rivers, lakes and oceans which causes the water to evaporate. This water vapor rises up and condenses into clouds and falls as precipitation, that is rain and snow. This rainwater is collected in streams and rivers which flows back into oceans and lakes where it once again evaporates and begins a cycle. This is called the water cycle. We will be able to generate hydropower as long as the water cycle exists. 
Hydropower is generated using the movement of flowing or falling water. Hydroelectric power plants are built at dams and reservoirs. The flowing or falling water spins the turbines that in turn spins a generator to produce electricity. Geothermal energy is the heat within the earth's surface. Geothermal energy is a renewable energy source because heat is continuously produced inside the earth. Scientists have discovered that the temperature of the Earth's inner core is almost as hot as the surface of the Sun. The water found deep inside the Earth's surface have the highest temperatures. The steam from this hot water is used to rotate turbines and produce geothermal electricity. Electricity can be generated by burning organic matter like plants, timber, food waste and dung etc. Throughout most of human history, biomass from plants was the main source of energy. Nowadays, most biomass is used in rural areas for cooking and lighting in developing countries. Energy produced by burning biomass creates greenhouse gas emissions, but at lower levels than burning fossil fuels like coal, oil or natural gas. Thanks for watching BS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Light up subscribe right here, right now. Don't forget, press the bell icon. The choice is yours. The Ask Fun Play.